This is not that all right. Actually, we got Radek going on being gone on now, and he will go down. Urza looks like he'll live. So, I mean, this is definitely worth for this is definitely worth for the Urza, but he still got punished a little bit there. Could have been smoother. Meanwhile. Hello? Oh my god, that was so close. I mean, there wasn't a stun that... This was the maximum damage, but I'm pretty sure this was not calculated by the Zardar. Pretty sure he just did it good luck. Now we get Meepo going on Magnus, who isn't yet ready to counter him. Alright! That is one hell of a play, dragging the Sand King under the tower, but it's not gonna be enough here. Magnus is gonna go down, meaning... Faith are gonna get a bit of an advantage here, actually. Enigma going down once again. So... Faith right now, they're doing one head of fine, actually. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And Magnus going down once again. This bottom lane, it's starting to get PA a little bit more farm. Mag is also farming really well, but... The big quest is, will it be enough since Faith, they got a momentum heavy draft. They need the advantage at some point or another of the game. Meanwhile on bottom lane, we got a 3 versus 2 fight again, but Evidence seems to be dominating those. And with the aphotic shield, PA might be going down. At least, Silence could steal some in here. Yes, plus 2. There we go, and... Eitlin Dog. 22 Kappa is gonna chase is gonna chase to kill off Why Phantom Assassin and Slarder and Science both don't feel confident diving Anyways. This is a dead relic. This had to be a dead relic. There was no way no way around it. Like Penta are not gonna And I'm gonna switch over to Networth by the way. Which shows that Penta, like I said, the draft isn't bad. You know, paper their execution could be way better as well, but they're they're doing it. They're slowly but surely getting there. Custom yourself to loss. I mean, PA got all the time. The Vladimir's you fly in like the rest of the parts for your Vladimir's kind of thing. Since now she ha she might have bought a headdress, but she's not gonna bring it to her anyways. So I just kind of think getting the life in earlier would have mattered. Anyways, we got an, a 12 minute rush. Kind of late for pro, like attack. for ticket to game Urza timing, but could be far worse. Still a huge advantage. Science are getting plus two once again. Six stone intelligence, not all bad. I mean, it's four damage. Meepo usually doesn't benefit enough from it, but against Silencer, it's a situational item, is what I'm saying. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Also, PA is gonna get torn apart here. Like, yeah, there we go. Nigma might come in for the counterplay. This could be a big black hole. He is afraid, though. Primarily because there's Warlock who holds it up, so he decided against holding. Then tries to keep feeling safe that Warlock would catch up. He did catch up, and now Faith are ahead even further. I am not too confident in my English skills when it comes to explaining complicated Dota interactions yet. You must keep in mind it's like my tertiary language or something. Resident Potato Sand King. He got caught out on a retreat, but... Oh no, wait, I actually think the stun pierce spell I'm used from Warlock all nowadays. Yeah, never mind, never mind. BKB is actually not good. I thought it was still old pet, but... Alright, Silence Ult to save PA. Might allow them to turn here, but there's a lot of TPs coming in. Which means Penta have got to retreat, and Silence will still get swallowed down, so he 
He just used two minute ultimate and his own life just to save PA. Not sure if that's worth it, but in Radiant's this position, you really have to do what you can to not lose. And now Mipo comes in and he's like, yeah, we are ahead, we'll win. Oh my god, that was so close to killing off. That was so close to killing off Mipo, actually. Holy shit. And things are getting torn apart. This is high ground. Oh my god, the black hole though. A bit too late, but... I don't know. I mean, Enigma is a great hero, but both of these teams failed in the same thing. They failed to get early game. We kill the carry now, black hole. Which are the most important kind of black holes. Because nobody ever does them in like tier 2 Dota. And everyone in tier 1 Dota does them. Unless you know your enemies got team by 3-10 minutes. You want to one man black hole the enemy carry. That's just Dota and both of these teams didn't do that. And that makes the Enigma pick. And both Try to enable one kill if you want to win your puffs. Because it's always worth it. Keeping the black hole. When you know there isn't going to be any 5 man fights. Unless everything is like... Shit, it's the van. You really just wanna hold on to that. You really just don't wanna hold on to that hole. Alright, we gotta silence. Meepo is getting torn apart here. The PA countering Meepo, and Meepo finally goes down. That's quite the big kill as well. And Enigma coming in. Doesn't have ultimate though, so he's just gonna teleport out. Like, why not? The silencer, however, gets ripped second bottle. Same with the Magnus. 22 minutes in the game, there's Meepo and an Urza. Despite PA and the counter picks working out, at this point I don't think the momentum itself is like favorable enough for Pendragon or anything. And it looks like that. And it really looks like that. Someone who actually bothered with tier 2 Dota, they're the only one who actually like are kind enough to pump, pump money into supporting up and coming teams, you know. And I think that alone we should appreciate for a moment. This also, start. But as I was saying, crumbling. So, Azuba deserves credit not for stream quality, which quite frankly is lacking, but they're gonna fix that with the hitbox merger, so. Don't worry, Azuba is gonna improve. And there we see why Magnus is evil count, but it's not good enough. I think maybe Big Black Hole, but interrupted by the Warlock Ultimate. Warlock was. Current like picking the Nick is one of the three supers. Now he just gonna be proc, but this gotta be GG. And I'm gonna continue my monologue here since this is basically either GG or a small comeback, but it's this is won by tape. Like there's no way of the comeback. So yeah, GG being called. But I'm gonna follow I'm gonna finish my monologue.